Hey YouTube, today I had a fun little experiment planned. I'm going to be making silicon the metalloid from sand. Here I've got my ingredients in a jar for mixing. On the bottom I have 60 grams of fine sulfur powder ground in my mortar and pestle from garden sulfur. In the middle I have 50 grams of aluminum powder made by ball milling aluminum foil. And finally on top I have 45 grams of 400 mesh silicon dioxide powder, the main component of sand, from an online sample of chromatography experiment silica. Here the thermite has been completely mixed very thoroughly. I have placed it in a flower pot to contain it and inserted a magnesium ribbon for ignition. Let's go outside and light her up. Wow, that was pretty awesome. I think it worked. As you can see, I put a lid on the reaction chamber to help keep oxidation to a minimum. Now the thermite has cooled and I've chipped it out of the terracotta flower pot. So I'm going to add it to water in order to hydrolyze the aluminum sulfide byproduct produced and free up the silicon and aluminum oxide. Be careful as this produces lots and lots of hydrogen sulfide gas. I believe hydrogen sulfide is even more toxic than hydrogen cyanide, so you really don't want to be breathing this. So definitely do not do this inside. As you can see, it's making bubbles. As you can see, it's bubbling extremely furiously. I suppose that's hydrogen sulfide gas. So I better not breathe too much of this, but I just thought it was very interesting how vigorous the bubbling was. So the reaction stopped producing hydrogen sulfide gas, and after many, many washes with water, I think I finally rid myself of that horrid egg stench. I think I also lost some of the silicon in processing, though, because this is all I was left with. As you can see, there are some small globs of what I think is silicon, but really I didn't get very much, so maybe I'll have to try this again. However, for the next step, I'm going to pour a little bit of hydrochloric acid over this in order to clean the impurities off the surface of the silicon and make it shinier. After soaking the product in dilute hydrochloric acid for an hour, I got some shiny crystalline beads of silicon. Not as much as I expected, but shiny nonetheless.